Hello everyone, this is Sunil here from Cloud Foundation and you're welcome to this session. We will be talking about OpenSpan, that is nothing but Pega Robotics. So let's get started. So let's start. Now, what are we going to learn today? So today, this is the first session. I'll give you a brief overview of what exactly is RPA and what is this Pega Robotics, right? So before jumping ahead directly into Pega Robotics or OpenSpan, let's understand a bit of what exactly is Pega Robotics. So Pega Robotics or OpenSpan. So both are the same things. What happened is OpenSpan was acquired by Pega Systems and they, that has been merged into Pega Robotics. So if someone tells you OpenSpan, Pega Robotics, both are the same thing. So no need to, uh, you don't need to confuse. Um, that's the thing. Now talking about what exactly is OpenSpan or Pega Robotics, it's nothing but it's an RPA tool. So that is a Robotics Process Automation Tool. So what does it do? It automates manual tasks. That's the stuff. So any kind of manual stuff that is done by humans, that's what will be automated. What can be that? I mean, pretty much anything. You will see that currently in IT, you will see 60% of the tasks in current IT, I'm telling you, it's all manual. People are using Excel seed stuff, this, that, this, that, all manually. You will see that this 50 to 60 percentage of that stuff down the line, two, three years down the line, through the, or five years down the line, uh, all of it will be automated. So probably that's the reason why people are saying that there will be a lot of job cuts. Remember, there will be job cuts. Uh, definitely, that's for sure. But there will be job a lot of new jobs will be created in robotics and in data science, uh, big data, those uh, things. So if you are updated, if you keep updated uh, with new technologies, then you don't need to worry. Anyway, I'm not um, uh, going deeper into that. So we have other RPA tools, tools as well. That is uh, Blue Prism. Then we have uh, UiPath. Then we have uh, Automation Anywhere. Then of course Pega, and then we also have Work Fusion, and there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of tools that are uh, there in the market. But mostly, if you ask me which is the best one, the best one currently in 2018 is of course Blue Prism. But uh, UiPath is really dominating the market. I mean, um, you will see one two years down the line, UiPath will be the leader. But as of now, yes, uh, it's Blue Prism. First Blue Prism, second Automation Anywhere, third UiPath then Pega Robotics, then World Fusion, like that. So that's the thing. Now to see the tool, I mean, this is the tool that you have here. This tool is free, so you can, anyone can download this tool. You can just go and search in Google, like Pega Robotics free download, that's it. So you just need to sign in, uh, sign up, That's uh, and then you can download the tool. So anyone can download it, it's free, no need to worry. And uh, about this tool, you can see here the interface. It's, um, if you have seen earlier, RPA tools like Blue Prism or uh, uh, UiPath or Automation Anywhere, you will see they are pretty much the same. But this is this one is more of a uh, this uh, is based completely on Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio. So you see all this interface is nothing but Microsoft Visual Studio. If you have ever seen Visual Studio, the, <laughs> I mean that's how uh, it looks like. It's like a brother copy paste, right? So uh, now you have to work here now let's see the touch and feel and other options you can see here help and file so any to start any project you need to start with a, um, by creating a new project so just say new uh, let's say new and project right so it is asking for uh, to check two things like uh, empty project or pega robotics uh, project so you can go ahead with empty one. The only difference is here an automation job will already be present and here it will be completely empty. And talking about a solution name, it's nothing but it's um, kind of like the head, okay, head of the hierarchy. So you're going to create projects and in the projects you're going to create automation. But in a solution, you can create multiple projects. So you understood, right? Solution, it's the father, grandfather of all the projects. That's the thing. So you can give a solution that Pega um, Robotics something, right? As of now, you don't need to worry about all this stuff. Just say, okay. So you will see an um, empty project will be created. Now this windows are important object explorer. We do not have any objects. So that's why you can't see anything. So solution explorer, we will see right now. Now let's, so we have created an empty solution, empty project, but you don't see anything, any stuff. So. 
I told you that Pega Robotics is about automation, automation of Windows application, of uh, web application, stuff like that. So how are we going to automate? So let's start with this. So to automate it, you just go here, right click, and you say add, and go and say add new item. So let's just say add new item, and we will see a bunch of stuff, right? We will see Windows application, web application, automation, Windows form, many, many stuffs are there, out of which the most important one will be the Windows application and then the web application and of course automation three stuffs three things are important what exactly is Windows application uh, let's say VLC player uh, you don't want to automate that but just giving an example VLC player or let's say your um, um, uh, calculator typical best example I love the calculator one because uh, all your automation project you can start with calculators <laughs> it's very easy so let's just start with calculator then probably we can uh, go deeper and anyway the web application is if you want to open the uh, win internet explorer or mozilla or chrome three things are supported uh, the best one will be window internet uh, explorer okay don't go with chrome and uh, firefox and the third one is automation now this is the real stuff this is where you do the real automation okay this is this windows um, uh, and uh, web application is for identifying the objects and the automation has to be developed here the automation workflow process mapping maplet whatever you call it that will be developed here so now first let's see a very quick thing how to uh, how to let let's just see the calculator application double click so it opened up right so windows application i have i should have renamed it to um, calculator that's fine now what I will do is let's uh, let's just open the calculator with this. So how do I configure this thing to open the calculator? Just go here on the right hand side and give the path. Okay. So here I go. This is the path. So you have to give the path of the application that you want to open. So I would like to open the calculator. Do you know where is the calculator? Calculator normally resides in C Windows System 32. And just type or uh, search for calculator. Here I go. Calculator. Right. And just open it. So this is the full path, right? Done, save it. Now, I just want to test it. So is it opening the calculator or what is it opening? Just say start interrogation. We call this as the bullseye. So <laughs> it's a big eye, looks like a bullseye. So uh, it's this one, the bullseye. And then the calculator you see here. So this is the calculator and using the bullseye, you are going to identify the different objects and then um, whatever first you are going to identify and then you're going to automate that stuff and to automate that stuff you're going to use uh, this one so you see this one so automation we're going to use that thing to automate right so there this is the most important part the automation one and similarly you see there are a lot of things services recording where we, the recording stuff we take care of all that thing here and uh, windows form right so you can create a form it's um, i think you know what's a windows form so it's it's just like in visual basics those kind of stuff so same stuff here so um right now similarly you can also configure you can uh, configure an um, uh, web application like mozilla or something and then give the browser details and then the start page all that kind of stuff so just double click and you can configure which page it will be browsing and uh, right so just see the start page you can just keep www.google.com right so yeah that's it i think uh, i just wanted to create this uh, I'm, I'm not going to make very very long sessions you know why uh, long sessions are very boring so i am going to stop this uh, right now and in the next session we're going to see how to exactly exactly identify the elements in the calculator and in the browser and how to do some automation stuff we'll start with the basic concepts and then we'll jump a jump to um, gradually we will uh, move just like a ladder to the advanced concepts so thanks guys thanks for watching just check out the next tutorial thank you very very much love you all